Welcome to Fast Effect Double Speed Magic the Gathering. Here we have Jacob on Burn. I believe it might be his first time on camera. Versus Dave on Yorion in Taxes. The rangy Death and Taxes deck that has been actually the more popular version of Death and Taxes lately. Using that Sky Noodle for a ton of card advantage. Aether Vial for Dave. Actually get around Eidolon quite nicely. Goblin Guide applying pressure to his life total. And Eidolon is going to make spells also a costly endeavor. Doesn't necessarily have to play too many spells thanks to this Aether Vial. Oh, and we have Solitude. That is a card that you get to run as a four of in Yorion and Taxes. The three Swords to Plowshares. Yeah, Swords to Plowshares is only one mana to begin with, but three is even cheaper. And of course, occasionally you can actually get a five mana body to go along with it, though I wouldn't expect that against Burn, as helpful as that lifelink would be, how fun it is to be blinking it with Flicker Wisp. Probably not a lot of probably not a lot of uh, nonsense you can play versus a list like this. Oh, and Jacob's got a little bit of an error here. This is going to be costly. There's Lava Spike upstairs, but then this Rift Bolt looks like it's actually targeting the Mother of Runes. This entered the battlefield during the previous end step. It means it actually can tap to protect itself. Another Rift Bolt suspended. Ooh, and another Lava Spike. Lots of damage. Eidolon turns sideways. Jacob's basically down one point of life here. Throwing the Rift Bolt at the Mother of Runes and attacking with the Eidolon. He had gone upstairs with the Rift Bolt. Different story. Actually, on a more precise note i think it's better to attack with the eidolon prior to playing all of those sorceries if it does happen to die thanks to like a sneak attack thalia then you're not taking damage off of your own spells and then also it's quite possible that dave wouldn't block with mother of runes if you attack with the eidolon attacking with eidolon tapping the mom i mean he might want to keep that to protect, for example, Stoneforge Mystic. If it taps to protect itself, then it might be an issue of getting blown out by instant speed removal like Lightning Bolt. I got the wrong art queued up. OG art. That is the card that just got exiled. Thanks to Flicker Wisp. Stoneforge Mystic on board also with the wrong art. Not paying enough attention, I guess, when I queued up all of the art. I just do these in one take, trying to get out a video a day for you guys. If you appreciate that, like and subscribe is always appreciated on my end, helping get these videos out to as many people as possible. Spread the love of legacy. Jacob on a budget deck here. Optimally built, but still considered budget. It's his only hundred dollars two three hundred dollars maybe for burn and got a lightning bolt plays a chain lightning by accident the art is so similar and i don't love this line either this is also slightly inaccurate so a learning opportunity here a swinging with both creatures with that other runes already gone it would have been better to lightning bolt the flicker wisp first and we would have had Swift Spear getting through for two damage. Right, so that was a little bit to sort out. Oh. Bolting before damage, that has all been squared away. Dave's going to be able to... Skip too far. A recruiter of the guard. Aether vial tapped. Another mother of runes. And found eight life.
Bruder the Guard and Stoneforge Mystics stepping up. I actually don't understand that block. Do you actually want to block the other way with the Stoneforge on the Monastery Swift Spear and force Jacob to have an instant to play? They would actually bounce off of each other. Are watching this at double speed, so let me know if I'm wrong about that. That seems like the better block. That first take, and now Thalia is hopping in. That's going to be a big problem. Thalia from this position is actually a real issue, as you don't have the ability to play multiple burn spells in the same turn. Jacob swings but this is oh ending in disaster not really a place where you can swing Eidolon is removed as is the monastery swift spear this is this is a blowout so close yeah that life gain just does it Big oof. So three points of damage for sure missed during that match. And Dave ends at eight. Fire Blast and a Chain Lightning. That was very, very close without that attack step. Very close indeed. Those are the types of plays that you're looking to hone in on that precision extremely important with burn to really optimize your chance of winning that accuracy something you got to work on fortunately it's largely based in theory so really understanding the theories will lead to the more accurate plays for the most part there can be exceptions to the rules but in general sticking with the basics goes a long way that is how you learn into game two here. Jacob leading out with a Monastery Swift Spear. The Vile for Dave. Batter Skull just ending that game on the spot. Last game post board. Jacob may have some good answers for it, like Smash to Smithereens. Here. Two so far. Second turn, Eidolon. Thalia. Goes up, kind of putting a, a stop to the attacks here. Goblin Guide. Jacob can push through some damage. Let me know if you would attack with everything there. Kind of inclined to just attack with everything. Two damage gets through. Would have been an additional two. So Dave may have chose to block the Eidolon. Alia's legit problem. Really want to have answers for it. Lava Spike goes upstairs, down to 11. He's going to need four more spells to close this thing out. Dave may not actually need to do any casting of spells at all, thanks to this Aether Vial just doing so much work. That's where I like Smash to Smithereens. This has no shortage of targets versus Yorion and Taxes, Aether Vials, potential equipment like Batter Skull, Umazawa's Jitae. Searing Blood, potentially, in this type of matchup. Searing Blaze is the stronger card in general, but that tends to pull you toward the Fetchland mana base. Pulls this away from the, the budget build. All Mountains is just where you want to be for the budget build. And I'm not entirely sure that the... Fetchlam build is better. Sorry for the pause there. As processing what we have, it's a timeless dragon. So we saw cycling earlier, I guess. Now timeless dragon being eternalized. 
down to eight. Here's a Flicker Wisp getting rid of Eidolon for the time being. Big chunk of damage. Timeless Dragon again, Eternalizing, not actually casting a spell. Cast one spell this game so far, which is Aether Vial. Getting in there for seven. One turn left. Eidolon comes back. Flicker Wisp. Oh, and that is it. Looks like just suspended a Rift Bolt and had to pass the turn out of gas. So just a couple of points of missed damage there. The Rift Bolt could have been cast at full retail do three damage. So looks like based off of that, Dave would have ended that game at three life, even with, at least in hindsight, what may have been the optimal lines. Yorion and Taxes outlasts Burnt.